Well, that was a very cold night. I'm quite sure what the time is. I managed to lose my tripod mounting clip off my camera. It was a very, very cold night. Let's get up. Wow. I'm alive. <laughs> no. Um, let's just run you through what happened. Basically, I was in a hide that I'd made with my poncho um, watching the wildlife. Silly me. Um, fell asleep kind of mid afternoon. Woke up and it's dark. Um, I quickly packed away and it lashed it down. And did it lash it down. No chance for a fire. Um, all the twigs and that that I saved for my M kettle, I wanted for my M kettle. Must have slept in quite a bit. I think the best bit of sleep I got was this morning when I weren't having hot brews. And the only problem with having hot brews is you have to get up and go to the toilet in the middle of the night. Or in the middle of the morning in my my case. I can't believe how quiet it is. It's got to still be quite early. It's not rife with dog walkers yet. So those of you that uh, read my front page, my um stonesbushcraft.com will see a little part on there called Mike Dixon's kit. Uh, and I recently added a little bit of kit to my day pouch and uh, in the form, God knows where the pack is now, of the Adventure Medical Kits BB 2.0 or something like that. Anyway, it's this thing. Um, I would say it did actually keep me really warm. The only problem is um, you can see there, I got a rip in it, uh, so I had to repair it with the duct tape, and I believe in the corner as well. I ripped it. Uh, most problem was I've got my petal e light, but used candle light to, so I wasn't using battery life, just in case I really needed it. Um, I was using candle light to repair and. Turns out it wasn't that good a repair. Um, never mind, it held it together. Um, the bivvy does work. I was really surprised. Especially because I had to take my boots off. Uh, normally you don't take your boots off, you just um, loosen your laces and just let the space between your foot and the boot warm up. I couldn't do that because I'd sweat so much in my boots yesterday, they were kind of wet and damp. So. What I did, I'll get out without ripping this thing, it's quite fragile, is my fleece. I just done up the zip and wrapped. I also did tuck these down. Um, and it, it worked for the most part, but I did get cold. I'm not saying I didn't get cold. Um, but what's cold when you're still alive? <laughs> nah. uh, I think a lot of people make big things over staying overnight in the woods with no kit. Um, you could have quite happily just slept inside the emergency blanket I'm sleeping on. Casualty blanket, which has got the silver inner, which I could have wrapped over me. Um, 
the trees around me kind of held off the gnats. Unbelievable at this time of year. Um, if it would have been blowy, rain everywhere, then yeah, I probably would have wrapped myself in it, but um, the thing's waterproof anyway. And uh, did me justice. I absolutely had every bit of kit on. My hat, I've got my buff with the fleece lining, which I tucked into my t-shirt. The jacket I'm wearing is meant to be a three in one layer, or a layer system, should I say. Uh, all the zips are done up. The collar was done right up. The hood was pulled over, which is fleece lined. This is the jacket I've been wearing. Um, I've been wearing the same boots. I didn't bring anything extra, really. Not even because it was that it wasn't really chilly. That's why I probably didn't have much in the way of clothing. Wore my gloves, um, which I did tuck underneath the cuff, which does really retain heat. And I just slept with my arms underneath my armpits. That's another good tip. Really does warm you up. Um, I think for the most part it was just uncomfortable because the floor was horrible. Um, I kind of wanted to move all the twigs, but in the same way didn't want to move all the leaves. So it was a bit of a nightmare. And I was doing it in the pitch black. Poncho seems to have gone up all right. The sides were a bit, I was treading all over it last night. Um, it's a bad thing when the rain's really hitting hard. Took off this jacket, give it a good shake off, put my fleece on. Got underneath this poncho. Um, two flappy sides on the edges. It's covered in crap. Um, but it did keep the rain out. You need to get up and go for a walk to warm up. Cold to the bone now. It's sitting on the floor. Any of you that sat on the floor will know. Even with the space blanket there, it's just not warm enough. I'm not going to break out the Bear Grylls star jumps or anything, but a good fast walk would be good enough. So I've got this little pad of Reflectix. Oh, now I'm taking it away. It does seem to be doing something, so I'll just put that back. Um, since I saw Shug's um, loadout for his bag, I saw he carried that little bit of Reflectix. I've got tons of the stuff. Um, I just padded out my little roll top rucksack bag, which housed my camera. I've got a water bottle, a little bit of food from yesterday. Um, the stuff sacks for my poncho, etc. So it's a roll top bag, which means it's waterproof. Great little bag. Um, oh, I stored the wood in there that I had. Really didn't want that getting wet. I've got my cup uh, and everything I took off my belt. Obviously, you don't want to be laying on a knife and stuff like that. So let's just get out and show you. The bivvy's name is oh, the SOL Thermal Bivy. Yeah, I believe they renamed it. I'm sure it's there. I've got another one of these somewhere. Um, yeah, I mean, really small. Rolls up and um, tight enough to fit inside my GSI cup, which is unbelievable for the amount of warmth it gives you. I believe it is their heat sheets design. Uh, I haven't got their heat sheet, but I believe this is the same thing, just sealed up in a bivy form. Um, sewing is really poor on this, really poor quality. Uh, I've noticed a few holes just from me spending the night in it, which I don't know whether I'm gonna sew it up or um, just gaffer tape the whole thing, like round the outside, or gorilla. Gorilla tape it. This stuff seems to stick very well. I'm just going to check inside my boots, see if they got wet. No. 
I think it was a, if it was a real emergency, I would have kept my boots on. I'm sure my feet would have kind of dried the uh, boots out. But I don't really want to fill this bivvy with crap from the bottom of my boots. So I think I'll either go for a walk quickly and warm up. It's cleared up. It's a horrible, really horrible night. Would have been a better idea if I would have lowered the poncho a lot more. It's thigh height already, so I'm crouching down in it. I thought that would have been enough, but. Nowhere near as enough. But like I say, I could have wrapped myself in the um, space blanket, casualty blanket, whatever you want to call it. Oh, my battery's gonna go anyway. I was using it all yesterday, so uh, let's go and warm up and I'll be back. Well, that's better. Just need to get a brew on now. That's everywhere. It's not nice when you wake up to gnats. The buggers just bite you for no reason. Let's see what they get out of it. Um, let's just quickly show you the. That's basically it. Um, the edges of the poncho was not done up very well. Um, this is what you kind of get when you rush and it's in the dark and there's sleety rain. Um, but you know, it's done. I think the main the main thing that I did was, uh, and I think this is what scares a lot of people, is the fact that I just rung home when it was dark and chucking it down in rain and said look I can't I'm not coming home I'm gonna stay over the night um, once you made that decision you know you just deal with it I know I've got more than enough kit um, if I didn't have the bivvy bag like I say I could have just wrapped myself in the emergency blanket um, I could have just put the poncho over me to be honest sit up against the tree sat on top of my bag um, you know, there's lots of stuff you can do you don't need tons and tons of kit to do it the main example for this is um, homeless people. You know, the bit of cardboard, a sleeping bag, or even loads of cardboard. You know, and they're kind of they're right as rain. Um, kit I use, kit I didn't. Um, the only kit I use is what I slept in, really. I use my knife yesterday, I think I used most of my kit yesterday pretty much just sat up uh, in the little hide um, and my kettle going when I needed it to um, I just burnt wood yesterday methylate spirits gives off a horrible smell and it lingers in damp cold air which was a bit of a nuisance bloody gnats everywhere. For this time of year, um, well actually this time last year there was a blanket of snow on the floor um, and right now it's got to be 15 degrees, probably more. There's a blue sky on the horizon uh, and over there is a thick grey cloud so it looks like there's more rain for today. Yeah, that's one thing I didn't check. Obviously, I didn't think I was going to be out. Um, I'm going to get a hot brew in me. Uh, I think I've got one left in my. Uh, uh, no, I've got a whole lot in my uh, day bag actually. No. It shows what a cold night does to you. Um, yeah, kind of annoyed that I've lost the clip for my camera. I've got a tripod over there and I can't even use it, so I've got to hold the camera. 
Uh, I might find a way of lashing it to the. That's a good idea. I'll lash it down to the um, truck. I'll get back to you anyway. Right. Fifth attempt to get my M kettle going. Um, I've wasted three quarters of my water now. <sighs> Keeps tipping over. Um, the more I build a platform for it, the more it falls over. So I've just got it straight in the mud now. Bones really ache. That's one thing about sleeping on the floor. Loads of mistakes I've made. Ones I'll probably make again and again. Right, for one thing, I need to uh, drink some water. I think for the most part, the get asked when I'm out is um, what do you do when you're out and you're on your own? Well, if I know I'm going to be planning a night out, I'll bring a book along or I'll bring my carving kit, just stuff like that, stuff that I like doing, my net making kit. Um, other than that, pretty much stare into the fire, but right now I've got no fire. I'm literally just staring at. My M kettle. Sorry about the camera work here. Seems to have a little bit of smoke coming out the um, steam, shall I say? And there's the smoke. Hopefully, it's coming up to uh, boil. drinking me which means I probably had around three hours sleep this morning I know that I woke up early and had a, a brew still quite windy this morning with sleety rain in it horrible rain Pretty much all coming from that direction though, which was battering all the holly bushes that surround me. I think the only thing I would have done better was put the um, poncho down and put it up a bit flatter, which have loosened up a bit at the top, the hood. To drop it down flat and open it right out then. We've had a lot more coverage. Excuse me. Red Wings from Scandinavia, which is what I've been watching. There's a jay just flying around, which are really elusive birds. They do like to hide away from you.
surprised how active the squirrels are, considering the weather. Let's get rid of this MKL. It's coming out.